What's up guys, Daddy Rooster 88 coming at you with another video. I got a how-to video today. Has this ever happened to you? You got your Chevy Tahoe, window just won't go up. Push the push the button, but you just hear noises and nothing's working. I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Let's get into it. Okay guys, what we have here is a 2003 Chevy Tahoe and we are replacing the passenger rear window regulator and frame. Just got this off of carparts.com and it came in. So what are we talking about guys? We're talking about a 2003 Chevy Tahoe and the uh, rear window passenger side window motor has gone out so there's that the actual frame and the uh window motor it all comes together in one piece if that's how you want to do it or you could just try to replace the motor itself but uh, i think it's a little harder but um i wish i could tell you the exact sizes of these bolts on here but um they might be some bolts that i just put in because the old ones are lost or something happened to them but uh let me show you the first step here so basically yeah we're going to remove the door panel here so i got a screw here there's one down in down here and uh, i believe i want to say there's one more we're going to get into it right now i'm going to take it off and then i'm going to show you it's not as hard as it looks we'll get into it You might not have this screw here. I think this looks like something I put in later. As you notice, these cars, um, as they get older and older, um, with the Chevy, um, cosmetically, a lot of things break on them. Um, Engine-wise, these things are running. This this tower here almost has 300,000 miles and it's still going. So engine-wise and all that, they didn't mess around, but um, interior-wise, as you notice, it's kind of falling apart, but um, we're gonna do what we can do, and it is what it is. So I got that bolt out, we're gonna get a couple more here. Okay, so down at the bottom of the door, on the bottom left, there's another bolt, let me show you. It's down there below the speaker grill. Let's get it out. So yeah, it did end up being only the two screws, and uh, one on top, one on bottom. And the next step would be to remove this little plastic piece by the door handle. Right here, I just you could just stick a flathead in here and then it just, just pops right out. Um, you just gotta jar it loose and then, uh, yeah, basically that's it. Nothing to it on that. Just pull the handle up a little and you'll be able to take it right out. Let's see, I'll try to do it with one hand, it's kinda hard. Let's see, there it goes. Got it that aside and you can already see that this is loose so um it's just gonna pull straight up and it should come out pull here it's gonna pull straight up yep there you have it guys door panel is off i don't have to take that switch out but if i want to move the door panel completely out of my way that's what you're gonna wanna do, is just uh, take that, take disconnect the switch and uh, you'll be able to move the whole thing out of the way, but eh, I'm gonna leave it. Okay, so like I said, I've done this before. And so on this particular window here, the plastic is, um, is already loose. Let me show you, there's some plastic uh, weather sealing and you gotta pull it back. So yeah, just this right here just pulls away. And uh, don't worry, it'll, it'll stick back on, but um, that way you can see what it is you need to do as far as the uh, removal of inside here. That's what actually picks up the window up and down is there's, a, there's some parts in there. I'll show you when we get it out here in a minute. But uh, yeah, let me, let me go to the next step. Okay guys, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove the door handle so I can get this plastic all the way down. 
it's a 10 millimeter and uh we're gonna have to take this off take this out and the handle will come out um this right here is just a flathead you can pull it open this comes out this of course 10 millimeter socket uh, let's see if i can do the this room for you okay i got it so i just i put this flat head in here and pushed pushed this and pushed that in and then this came out so then now it's gonna allow the the pin to come up and release the door handle where i can get it out of there so i'm gonna take this out right now yeah once you get the boat out then the door handle will just go forward then it pops right out so don't forget how it goes back in that aside now we can uh put this vapor barrier pull it down a little more this is a bolt um this this screw right here this one is supposed to go under the handle down here so i forgot to mention that because it's broken so it just pulled right out but um this is gonna have to be removed when you're removing the exterior too, this is the third one. So on the door panel, it's uh, it's right, it's right there under the handle. There's the hole for it, but it actually just um, pulled right out. So that that's gonna have to come out on yours probably. So I'll get that out of there and we can get this plastic down. Uh, you know what? It's probably gonna be a good idea to remove this uh, window switch the plug from it so we can get this door panel out of the way because it's just getting in my way so i'm just gonna push this down here here with this flathead and this should pull right out yep sure enough it did let's get this out of the way now all right so let me show you what's involved um all the bolts and stuff that you gotta remove uh let me show you real quick so this bolt for sure, that holds the assembly inside. And also there's two under here. Those two hold the assembly. Um, we're gonna have to remove this speaker because to allow for this to come out, this is all part of it. That's the motor, the window motor right here. And there's also a bolt right there that's holding. So this bolt here, this bolt here is for that. And then these two and this one. So that's that's the whole assembly. As far as the window goes, for the assembly to come out, there's, look it, there's two nuts in there that you gotta loosen. Right there on the left and right there on the right. That's holding the that's holding the window. So so those those bolts that I showed you, they they squeeze a, a piece of rubber and that holds the window in there. So you gotta just loosen them. Don't take them all the way out. Um, all you need to do is just loosen them, and then um, we're gonna have to tape the window up so that way um, it's not falling down and we can put the new motor up in there. So I went ahead and taped up the window so it doesn't fall down. I wouldn't recommend doing it this way um, because it leaves like a glue residue. But if you can think of a better way, by all means go for it. But this is just my quick fix to just get it done. And then I'll deal with this later, um, taking it off with some kind of chemical. But uh, I'm sure there's a better way. There's probably better tape. This is Gorilla Tape and leaves a lot of glue. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna remove these, loosen those to get to have the window freely uh, stay up there. So the tape wasn't holding too good, so um, I ended up just releasing the window and um, setting it in a little ridge in there. I'll show you. So yeah, I got the window sitting in that little in that ledge right here. Just the bottom part of the window is sitting in there, so it keeps it from falling all the way down and breaking. So it's just sitting in there, just chilling right now until I remove the rest of the hardware. Oh yeah, by the way, um, these are all gonna be um, 10 millimeter. 
that's for sure. Okay. Yeah, and hey, these are different links, so uh, make sure you keep them together. This one's for the window motor, and uh, there's another 10 millimeter that was for the handle, which is longer, so don't mix them up. Okay, so I did get this out. There's these other two right here. And I did remove these. There's two. And they are 10 millimeters on those. I put those aside because they are all part of the assembly. Next up is the other two 10 millimeters over here. Three actually up here. Speaker will come out. And this is what we're trying to get out. This whole motor assembly that was in the box. So, um, we're almost there. And these are longer guys. The ones around the speaker are longer. So don't, don't confuse them. Hey, look at, this is broken. So I don't even, but it is holding in the motor. So yeah, I still need to remove it. So let's just take it out. Not really holding in the uh not really holding in the speaker it's just uh in there you know but it does hold in the motor so there's number two and let's get the top one here hopefully the speaker don't fall out there's a the third one it is longer as well set that aside and let's see this kind of hooks on and there we go, that's one of the main parts there. We're gonna see these cables here. This is it's, this is why it's messed up because the whole cables usually either break or come out of the track or something in there is no good. So yeah, this whole thing needs to be removed. It's an awkward shape. So um, that's why it's, it's just weird to get out. Oh. One more bolt right here. I forgot. Look at this. You see this bracket? Um, it's going to allow this to whole thing to come out, but there is that one more bolt. Let's get that out. There we go. So, yeah. Keep them all together, guys. And that should be it. Um... Let me try to grab this out of here. This is gonna be difficult holding the camera, but we'll give it a shot. Oh, this right here, we gotta unplug this. This is the power for the uh, the window motor. So you could just um, push this little tab in, push this tab in, and it should pull right out there. I don't know if I can do it with one hand. Let's see. Yeah, we gotta release this. I might have to use the screwdriver on that. Let me uh, let me get the screwdriver and get it started at least. Okay, okay, I got it. Um, it's just once you release this, once you push this down, you're it's a, you're able to pull this out. Or it actually, just came out once I gave it a little tug. But um, yeah, looks like everything is loose now. And I can uh, start to remove it here. Let's see. Let me give it a shot. This, see this? Uh, it hooks on here to the metal. That's key. Um, you want to line that up. There's also another one here. So that should be up there like that, and that helps hang it and these holes align. So let's get this out. It's probably the heaviest part right here. Is this, this bottom part? This is where the motor is. I'm trying to see. Oh, shoot. I forgot. This wiring harness is actually clipped in right here. Let's see. Right there. The wiring harness has a plastic uh, little clip. Let's see if I can just get that out somehow. We might have to get the, the flathead again. Just kind of pry that out. Let's see. Oh, shoot. Here it comes, here it comes, there it is. Now we got it out. Let's 
see. So here's the damage with the motor. This is the biggest hole right here, so it should be able to pull it out there. We'll see. We got that part out. This here is kind of hung up, but it's so broken that it's, you don't have to worry about damaging it. It's gonna, it's gonna all come out. Yeah, it's all gonna come out through this hole. Look at that, man! It's so broken, so broken. Yep, it did break. So there we go. Yeah, see, look, this this broke right off. This gotta go on there somehow. And sometimes you can salvage the motor and reuse it and all that, but it's not worth it. These, I think this thing cost me like 60 bucks to replace carparts.com. And uh, so the way it works is this is in the door like that. This is up higher. The window sits on here in those rubber cushions and it rises it up and down with the motor and this turns and somehow magically picks the window up and down. So let's get to the new one. Okay, so we got the new versus the old. It's it's a little different, but it's the same. So make sure you get the right one. You ordered the right one. These are the two bolts uh, that we're gonna put in. They just got some covers on them to protect the threads. And uh, then there's this one. So that's the, those are the three main ones that hold this piece in. And then uh, this and this are for the window. Got the rubber uh, inserts right there. And then uh, here's your three by the speaker. So here, and it's got those, it doesn't have the hooks. So this had the hooks to kind of help keep it up there and this one doesn't so you get that you know what i mean when you buy um aftermarket just like the plug the plug here has a a cord and this one plugged in directly to the motor so it's kind of the same deal should be it's a female so hopefully everything works dang this motor looks smaller too hopefully it lasts these things ain't the greatest it's all plastic parts and they usually end up messing up. It looks like this one messed up from here. The spring came out. Probably could have tried to fix it, but it's not worth it, man. It's just going to end up breaking again. So let's get this thing in there. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get this part in there first because it's got to go up in there like that. Line up the holes and then we'll worry about the motor part second. So let's get this in there same way it came out is the same way it's going in. This is the Find your threads. These two at the bottom here. These two at the bottom here. That, that I'd recommend that to um to get it lined up. So so after you found the threads, um go ahead and I would say put the nuts on to help you out just to hold it in place. Um get you a shot on that thing. That's basic stuff here, but yeah, just get the nuts that it's got a washer with it. And this will help you hold it in place. You don't got to tighten it all the way until everything's lined up. Classic advice right there. And then you got your uh, your other one here. That's going to be the uh, the shorter one. There's only one of those and that there's only one that, and that's it. The shorter the shorter one. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a little tip. So make sure the frame is behind the window, um, the actual door, I mean. 
and then uh and then you put the speaker on so i'll show you what i mean right now let me line it up i would say do the bottom left one first to help you hold it in place but you see how i put the frame behind it um that's what you want to do behind it and then then you put the speaker pretty tight you don't need to over tighten them but you don't want them too loose either then we're gonna plug in the plug um, for the motor there we go all locked in take that away out of the way now it's time to do the window Let's go ahead and tighten these up now. This one and these two. Okay, so we gotta get the, uh, we have to be able to put the window in. And right now it's too low. So we're gonna have to turn the key, raise it a little till it's right on these holes where we can put the window in. Okay, a good problem just happened where I was trying to pick up the window with the switch and the key on using the driver's side switch and it wouldn't go up and I thought, shoot, the motor's bad. But it's actually, if you don't have the door panel switch plugged in, it's not gonna work. So I just figured that out and I was able to bump up the window a little bit um, to where I can see the uh, the bolts now the nuts through the holes here so i can loosen that and let the window fall in the rubber grips um the way it's supposed to be right now it's kind of sitting on top of it the window actually is being held up by the motor now but um it needs to be adjusted so i'm gonna loosen these two nuts in here and that's gonna allow the window to fall just about an inch into the groove and then i'll tighten it back I might have to use a 10 millimeter wrench because uh, I can't pick up the window anymore without putting too much pressure on it. So I'm about to get my get my hand in here and loosen this. It's actually dirty loose as it is. I should have loosened it up before I put it in, but I forgot. So I'm gonna loosen these up and uh, should allow it to come down. Okay, so. I got it to set in there. It's touching the bottom. And uh, I would say to, before you tighten the two nuts, put the window all the way up. So that way um, you can tighten it when it's at its highest point and um, you'll know exactly how tight it needs to be. So I got the window in, it's sitting in the groove. I can feel it, it touched the bottom. And I haven't tightened up the nuts yet because I wanna make sure the window is straight when it goes up. So the best way to do that is roll the window up and it'll set inside where it's supposed to be. It'll be nice and straight and then you can tighten the nuts. Okay, we got the nuts tightened and we got the window all the way up, uh, all the way up to the top now. Everything's nice and square. Time to put everything back in reverse order. Put the vapor barrier back. Then we're gonna put the door handle on. And let's don't forget, uh, this is the one bolt that should be longer than all of them at 10 millimeter. Let's put that on. Okay, so don't forget, you put this back in. There's a hole for it here. And then you lock this blue thing down on it. I think you can push it on. Yeah, snapped right in. This is for like a light. And then we put the door panel back on. So yeah, there's some holes in the door and there's some clips on the door panel and they got a hook in. Uh, this one's broken, so that's typical. And then uh, there's a big one on the bottom. There's one right there. So you just gotta do the best you can and get them lined up and it goes in and down. Door panel all lined up, snapped in. Now we just gotta put the screws back. 
remember this screw here was was not holding nothing so that's not a big deal but it might be on yours and then uh i guess i made my own hole here a long time ago i don't remember and then there's a one at the bottom here so get all those three in last thing we gotta do is put the cover over the handle small minor detail but it is the sign that we are done okay here we go there it is like a glove all right we're all done wasn't too bad maybe an hour last step throw this thing in the trash thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe catch you guys on the next one daddy rooster 88 peace out